Hello, everybody. This is Daryl Cruz at the workbench of the Union Pacific Railroad's Geneva subdivision. And today I'm doing a video on installing resistor wheel sets. I'm trying to get them on every single car. I have about uh, almost 300 cars that I'm trying to do, and I'm down to my last 50. And I thought before I got them all done, I would uh, do a short video just to show how the process works. It's not very difficult. It's actually very easy. Um, just takes uh, maybe two minutes for each one. And uh, just takes a lot of time to get them all done. Like I said, I have about 250 done and about 50 to go. I'm not keeping exact count. Uh, we start here with uh, Fox Valley metal wheel sets that we're going to use. And uh, we're going to be just gluing a resistor on there, a surface mount resistor um, on there and using some uh, conductive paint to con complete the circuit. And I'll uh, just kind of take you through step by step. All right, uh, the things that we have, of course, are the Fox Valley Miles wheel set that we're going to use. All the cars on the layout have that. Uh, we're going to be using uh, surface mount resistors. Pick one up here. Right there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but that's a surface mount resistor. And we're going to be using some conductive paint and uh, to complete the circuit. Uh, the resistors, surface mount resistors I got from Mauser, um, comes 500 on a roll and uh, it's 10,000 ohms, 1 8 watt. And uh, this is how they come on this roll here and there's just this film that you just pull back and as you pull back the resistors just pop right out and they're about twelve dollars I think for five hundred so it's pretty cheap um, I've already taken uh, the wheel sets off of uh, four cars here I usually just take one wheel set for each car and I use an inside wheel so that the resistor does not uh, conflict with um, the coupler in any way it has more more room to rotate um, first thing I do with each wheel set is just uh, check and see if there's any dirt on the wheel sets if there is I just kind of clean it off real quickly with my fingernail doesn't take long um, some are more dirty than others one looks pretty good. Uh, one of the big advantages of metal wheel sets, other than the fact that you can have detection, is that they stay a lot cleaner. Well, this one's kind of this one is kind of dirty, uh, but they stay a lot cleaner than plastic wheels. Um, these have been on the layout for well for two years, over two years that I've been working on it, and so there's a little bit of buildup. Uh, but not as much as what you would have with plastic. I had uh, one car that I put on the layout and I forgot to put metal wheel sets on it. I only had it for like on the layout for like three months. And when I finally figured out that I hadn't changed out the wheel sets when I took the plastic wheels off, they were filthy just after that short a bit of time. Hey, whereas these are pretty, still pretty clean after two years. All right, so those are clean. And um, one thing about these uh, resistors is that they have conducting uh, pads on both sides, um, on both ends, I should say, but they also have some conducting pa pads on the back side. And so you don't want there to be any con conduction between the back side of the resistor and the, the axle, otherwise, there'll be a short. So the first thing I do, uh, put a little glue here, super glue, on my tray. Uh, first thing I do is just take a little bit of glue and dab it on here and just let it dry for a bit. And that just kind of acts as insulation so that there's no conduction between the resistor, the back side of the resistor and the axle. I'm doing four at a time right now. I usually do about eight to ten at a time. but only doing four today so the video won't be so long there you go. 
And now we use the tweezers to pick up each of the resistors and dip them in just a little bit of glue and place them right on the axle like that. the last one. Alright, then the next step is the conductive paint. And I got this from Mauser also. Um, it's a company by the name of Tech Spray. And it's basically is a non- it, or I should say not, not, it's a conductive pen, conductive paint pen. This was actually uh, kind of expensive. I think it was like $25 or something for this pen, but there's plenty of paint in there. Um, I've done 250 of them and I still got plenty in here left. Now when I first uh, tried this, I tried just painting it on straight from the pen onto the axles. It does not work very well. Um, ended up knocking the resistors off of the axle. So what works a lot better and a lot more controllable is to just use my uh, dissecting tool to push the little um, pin part in and get us a little dab of paint on there. And then just very carefully paint from one end onto the axle and then from the other end onto the back side of the wheel. Need a little more paint for that. For that back side here. There we go. Make sure there's plenty. And so what we have is electricity then can go from one wheel through the axle and then the conductive paint takes it to one end of the resistors through the 10,000 ohm resistor and then onto the the conductive paint onto the other wheel and then to the other rail and you have 10,000 ohms of resistance. Take care of the other ones here. And there you go. You have four wheel sets with uh, 10,000 ohms of resistance, and uh, will not the paint will not conduct electricity until uh, it's dry. Uh, but I'll put these back onto the the trucks and take them over to the railroad and test them out. Make sure that they're conducting uh, 10,000 ohms of resistance and. We're off to do the next ones.